so basically we chose to do double good because it was kind of like a virtual fundraiser and it didn't require you know any of our athletes having to leave their homes deliver popcorn or anything like that once we kind of like realized that you know you can order you can purchase your popcorn online and then you can have it delivered to your home we was just like hey like this is something that we can possibly do since we're you know currently practicing social distancing We expected to raise at least $10,000, um, but our total sales were over 41000 so we profited about 20000 and some change. So that was like really huge because again, um, when we first started, we only had about five athletes who kind of like signed up. So I was kind of like, I don't know if this is going to work, but we just kept it going and we ended up raising over $41,000. Uh, well, we do monthly tuition. The monthly tuition is $80 a month. So um, that winner would have that month wait for that whole month. So that tuition for, tu for July, that winner gets free tuition. I think if anything, it kind of like encouraged people to help because again, um, they know that our ch our cheerleaders really love to travel. They really love the all-star experience and everyone was just like, they going coming together collectively to ensure that these kids are able to have the season that they want um, without a struggle, right? Because again, like, there's a lot going on outside and some people are just not financially stable or, you, you know, they just don't have it. We have parents that told us like, hey, we want our kids to cheer, but like due to the current circumstances, we're unsure of what next season is looking like, which is one of the reasons why, you know, we came together to try to figure out what can we do virtually to ensure that these kids, you know, are able to cheer next season. Um, at first, when we bought the idea of Double Good Popcorn to them, like I said before, I was kind of like giving out the wrong information. I was telling them like, you will have to take the popcorn and you'll have to <laughs> deliver it to houses. You'll be responsible for that. But once like Jonelle got all the information from Robin um, on what like needed to t take place and what we needed to do, like parents were like excited and happy that everything was like so seamless like Jonel said because you can literally go onto the app pick the popcorn that you want after you pick the popcorn that you want now you choose your shipping address and then it tells you okay expect the delivery between April 30th and May 5th and for us as you know owners directors and coaches not to have to do anything is just like amazing because the app just did everything for us Yep. Yeah. So basically, um, what we did was we kind of like kept um, screenshotting everybody's like totals that they were raising and putting it inside our band app so that way other people would get excited. So every time we would send like a screenshot of somebody's sales, more people will continue to like, yep. you know, jump in and add, you know, make their account so that way they can, you know, possibly raise money as well. Um, so as far as social media, we were kind of like, um, screen again, we were screenshotting their sales. We were putting their sales on social media and every time we would post it like on the Insta story, we'll say, parents don't forget to check your band app to join in on the competition and every time like we will post we will always put you know give parents that direction to check their band app so that way they can join in on the competition and every time we post it more people like jumped in on it I feel like it was very competitive because um you know in the end of it all, we told them like, hey, if you raise this amount of money, 
we might give you an incentive and that's kind of like you know what happened and it kept everybody on their toes and wanting to kind of like you know raise money not only to cover them throughout the season but because it was kind of like a competition between them and their Well, the reaction of this fundraiser, everyone really talked about how convenient it was for them to share it with uh, their family and friends because we have so many athletes who have families that are not even near us. Like they live in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and New York, some are on the other side of the country. So they, for them to receive that re support from so far was such an amazing response for them. Um, it was also convenient for um, those again, that were supporting, they could just click click the button, click the link, and then everything was so easily accessible for them to buy the popcorn and be able to support us at the same time. So um, I think it was such a success. And just that having it at the, you know, at the palm of your hands was such a convenience for everyone. Some of them were just saying like, we just, you know, um, we kept sending our links out so that way our friends and family, you know, uh, would donate. I spoke to the girl that's like in first place and she sold like almost $4,500 worth of double good popcorn. Mm -hmm. I really don't know how she did that. And her mother was just like, you know, I'm very competitive. Um, I wanted to make sure that my daughter won, so we just did whatever it was that we needed to do to ensure that, you know, she was in first place because in the beginning, she was like in like fourth place and somebody was ahead of her. And then within like two, like not even two hours, maybe like an hour and a half, she was over everybody about like $800. They were sharing on Instagram, Facebook, um, Instagram, Facebook for sure. A lot of the uh, parents will like share their double good pop up store on um, Facebook, and we will kind of just like repost it as directors, coaches, or whatever. Um, some of the coaches even went as far as like taking some of the kids' links and putting it in like their bio so that way those kids who were like further behind and who were low could get like more sales too. So definitely um instagram and facebook help everybody out for sure mm -hmm. and we also encourage them to tag people in the post so that it mm -hmm. can get more exposure to different people's pages mm -hmm. and it will also be seen by more people as well so the more people they tag it seemed like the more people were able to see the link and they started donating that way as well right That's and they were also able to share them i know someone who's like in like three group chats they would share the link in their group chats and then whoever's in their group chat would share with their family and friends yep. too. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Definitely. We're already yeah. doing it again May 15th. So <laughs> May 15th uh, to May 19th, we're doing it for our incoming athletes so that way they can have the opportunity to raise money to help cover um, their fees for the season because we don't want to like leave them out. We want to give them you know the opportunity because again the initial reason why we decided to do the double good fundraiser is because during this pandemic a lot of our parents aren't working some fundraisers mm -hmm. such as you know shaking cans and tagging or taking away from our athletes and we wanted to ensure that they were set up for success next season and we want want the same thing for our incoming kids as well we want to give them that fair opportunity too right and just to branch off what she said hopefully when the other athletes see the success that they were that the other athletes were able to raise hopefully the new ones will jump on board as well and they will do just as good as, if not better <laughs> right and then with the, re the results that we got from it everyone who participated in the fundraiser they went over their goal they, yeah. everybody like 100 percent of our athletes went over their goal so that's even more encouraging for them to join and not only that, a couple of our athletes who didn't like jump in this time around, you never know, they may just do it the second go round because they see how successful it was from their teammates. So it's like, hey, I wanna I wanna try it to see if I can raise, you know, yeah. a lot of money. So um yeah. we should have like I hope we hope that we have the same turnout, but again it's about giving our new athletes the opportunity to raise money as well. 
it was actually a smooth transition from downloading the app, which was like not really that big of a deal. It was pretty much simple. It was like user friendly. So from downloading the app and then having the families able to have their own like individual link to send out to the family, that was like awesome. I think that was like a major aspect of the success of the fundraiser because they were able to see their sales right in front of them. And the fact that the item actually gets shipped directly to the person that's ordering. So it was like hands off us. We don't have to count any money. We don't have to separate any orders. People don't have to pick it up and drop it off. So it was able to just be like seamless. So that was awesome. I, okay. I would tell them that the popcorn was just like really, really good because I've had double good uh, popcorn before from like supporting like my students at school. So I was just like, listen, the popcorn is really, really good. Like once you have it, you're going to want more of it. So that's that was my way of like getting them to like, you know, sell it. And then you had like a yeah, lot of comments yeah. where people saying like, I hope the popcorn is good. I hope the popcorn is good. I'm like, they're not going to be disappointed. It's really good. Yeah. In addition to that, like if I was talking to another gym owner or cheerleading coach or anyone who runs a, a team, like I would definitely suggest this to them just as organizers simply because it was so convenient. Like why you said how it was such a breeze and um, you know, there was like not much work that we had to do on our end. Um, so just that convenience part would just, you know, they would love it. The shipping directly to the person ordering. <laughs> right. It's coming right to their door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I think sure. they had a lot of fun because it was so competitive and the fact yep. that you can see like who's ahead of you is like, wait, I, I need to be her. Like I had a parent <laughs> tell me, you know, this this girl was beating my daughter about $32. So I went up there and bought $104 worth of popcorn so she can, you know, get ahead of her. It like it was crazy and like some people were kind of like getting cash apps for popcorn so what they would do is at the end they put the money like they bought uh popcorn with the cash app money to make like the sales go up and move their kids to higher places mm -hmm. it was like a friendly competition amongst the um yeah. the girls yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 